Hi guys, Apostle Karen Proctor here, coming to share with you the word of the Lord for September 2022. I'm not big on giving words for the month. The only time you will find me doing this is when the Lord drop it in my heart. And so I really, really feel like God is giving me this word for his people for this month. But here's the thing. This word is not only going to benefit you for this month. It will benefit you for a lifetime, but he's bringing it to you for this month. So I will be sharing some nuggets uh, on this word, and many of you will go through things. Things will be uh, brought to you, but because God has already forewarned you, you will be better able to handle and to deal with these situations that will come across your plate. Now, you may understand that uh, some people may go through something this month that has to do with this word. And then others of you, you may not experience it this month, but I guarantee you somewhere in your life, you will. And so God is only giving it to me to bring to you for this month. And that word being deception. So I want to talk about the spirit of deception very briefly and how it operates to bring awareness of this spirit to you. Uh, some of you may know about this spirit of deception already and others it's going to be an eye opener for you. Now Jesus taught very simple whereas even the babes, the children around him were able to understand. So I'm going to bring it to you very simple, but yet it is something for you to uh, guard your heart and, and stand in a position to say, okay, God, you have already warned me. You have already told me about this. And so I'm going to be ready if and when I have to deal with the spirit of deception. And a lot of people today are being deceived. Yes, a lot of people are being deceived about what they hear and what they know. And people were deceived uh, long ago. So this is nothing new. But the spirit of deception is at an all-time high. Why? Because of the times that we are living in. Uh, our eye gates and ear gates are being just exposed to so much more because everybody have this little thing in their hand. And with this little thing or something very similar, you can, uh, at the click of a button, you can be around the world and exposed to so many things and, and everything that you are being exposed to is not of God. And here uh, is where the spirit of deception come in. When you don't know God's word, everything that's put before you, your eye gates and your ear gates and enter into your heart will begin to deceive you. So yes, deceive you. These are some words that go along with deception. Uh, you'll be deceived. Um, and then uh, intentional. Let me just say it like this. Let me let me let me slow down. <laughs> uh, deception, deceive, and deceit. It's all about all about being intentionally misled. Intentionally, you'll come across some people that will intentionally mislead you for their own good. And at the end, you will be sitting in the bottom of the barrel. So in uh, deception, it's nothing more than somebody intentionally misleading you. Uh, and then here's another word that came to my mind, entanglement. When this deceiver comes to deceive you, you will find yourself in entanglement. 
Entanglement was a buzz trending word about two or three years ago, uh, was made very popular by uh, the celebrity Jada. I don't really like calling people names, but uh, this word was a buzzword, a trending word about two, three years ago when uh, Jada, what what's her name, Pickett Smith, talked about being in an entanglement with a young man that was her children's uh, friend uh, outside of her marriage with her celebrity husband, Will Smith. But that was a spirit of deception. The enemy is always going to come and deceive you and before you know it, you'll be in an entanglement. Now, your entanglement may not be like hers. Um, sexual violation. Yours can be um, robbing, stealing, killing, murder, whatever it is. But it looks like something good before you get in the entanglement. And after you get in the in the entanglement, you realize how you have been deceived. You realize how that that was nothing but a lie, a trick of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so another word that you will see with this uh, word deception is lying. There's always lies behind deception. Why? Because again, the spirit come to intentionally mislead you. This is not a mistake. Sometimes people make honest mistakes, but with deception, it's intentional. So you're going to see lying going on. You're going to see all kind of uh, falsehood going on. You're going to see trick, trick, uh, trickery and tricksters. I, I already mentioned how one brother in the Bible deceived the other brother tricked him out of his birthright. And sometimes we open up ourselves to these things. Uh, and the spirit of deception works through seduction. Seduction and manipulation. Yeah, seduction and manipulation goes hand in hand with uh, the spirit of deception. Now, I know that you probably heard by now a time or two that everything that glitter is not gold. So you get this spirit that will try to manipulate you to make you feel like the grass is always greener on the other side. Uh, where God have you for now is it's not the thing. So this spirit will come to manipulate you. It will come to seduce you and bring you right into that web of entanglement. Uh, will trick you right out of your birthright. Will trick you right out of the promises of God because everything that glitter is not gold. So you must understand you have to learn how to be patient and wait on God for whatever God has promised to you. Can I tell you, he is a promise keeper. God is a promise keeper. So in light of what you may be experiencing, in light of your condition, it is only for a moment. This is only for a moment. So don't succumb to the spirit of the deceiver, the spirit of destruction, because with everything that is going on in the world today, many people are jumping off of the bandwagon with God to try to make things happen for themselves. And so this is how this spirit will come in and begin to wreak havoc in your life if you are not careful. The motive, the MO is seduction and manipulation always trying to manipulate you out of something, manipulating you out of the promises of God, manipulating you out of your birthright, re, uh, manipulating you out of your inheritance, uh, seducing you to make you feel like everything is all right. 
put you under that spell. And, and then a lot of times this seduction spirit, how you can be deceived. I talked about uh, coming through your eye gates and your ear gates, the things you watch, the things you listen to, music, uh, not only music, but who are you listening to, to deceive you? Who are you listening to, to manipulate you? The spirit of deception works through seduction and manipulation. And the chief deceiver, the chief deceiver and operator is Satan. Mm-hmm. I bet you knew that already. The chief deceiver is Satan. Jesus said in John 10 and 10 that the enemy come to steal, kill, and to destroy. Well, since we know that, that he come to steal, kill, and to destroy, that's why we have to um, just stay focused in the things of God and not allow these worldly temptations and worldly distractions to lure you in. Now, Satan is the father of lies. He's always going to try to make the uh, the lie look like the truth. And like what's going on in the world today, he will make a boy think that he's a girl. A girl think that she's a boy. A woman think that she's a man. A man to think that he's a woman. And then you got so many people out here that will tell you no, science says this, psychology says this, this person said that, that study says that. And if you are not careful, you will be uh, deceived. You will fall for the lie. You will fall for the lie. And that's not the only uh, scenario whereas the enemy would deceive you with your sexuality. No, that's not the only one. There are many works of the flesh, and that's the most common one that I can think of right now. But if you will go to your Bible, and I believe that's in the book of Galatians, it will tell you about the works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. There are many works of the flesh, and Satan will come to make you feel that all of those works of the flesh, that is nothing wrong with it, that you are square. Uh, when I was growing up, they'll say, they will say that you are square. Oh, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You don't want to participate in that. I don't know what they call it call it now. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so before you know it, you're going to give in to, to the enemy. And then because you want to fit in with your peers and not only young people, some older people don't have their heads screwed on too tight either. And so they succumb to the peer pressure, the deceiver, Satan, the father of of all lies. John chapter uh, 8 and verse 44, he called, Jesus calls Satan out. He calls him out by saying he's the father of all lies. And indeed, he was calling a group of people out, a group of Jewish people at that time. He was calling them out, telling them that he, they are just like their father. And so I want to read for you John chapter 8 and verse 44, where Jesus called them out. He said, ye are of your father, the devil. Mm. So either you're going to be of your father, which is in heaven, or if you're operating in any of these uh, works of the flesh, then you I like your father, the devil. This is what Jesus said. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, and the lust of your father ye will do. The lust, I talked about seducing. That's interchangeable with lust. The lust of your father you will do. Why? Because you're trying to satisfy your father. He was a murderer from the beginning. Remember I said the uh, spirit of deception will make you kill, will make you lie, will make you cheat, will make you just go contrary to the will of God. 
So Jesus says he was a murderer from the beginning and a boy not in the truth. He didn't live in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, why did Jesus say that your father Satan is the father of lies? Well, right down from the very beginning, he was able to tempt Eve in the garden. He tempted her with a spirit of deception. He deceived her, making her think that what he was saying was the truth. When the Lord God had already given her husband the word, given she the word, telling them what to do and what not to do. But Satan came right in, right from the beginning. That's, that's why I said again, that this spirit is not new. This is a ancient spirit from the beginning of time. Satan uh, deceived them right in the garden. He, he got to Eve so much so until she forgot what the Lord said. In other words, she gave in. And again, this is why we must be careful. Who are we listening to? Who is speaking in your ears? What are you watching? And so as he deceived Eve, Adam gave in. And when Adam gave in, they spiraled out of control. Their life went from top to the bottom. This is what the spirit of deception will do to you. Uh, and so when you open yourself up to this, you fall prey to uh, deception at the hand of the deceiver. Uh, and Satan today, he have his imps even working for him and with him. And if you are not with God, you are with Satan. It's no great area. Either you with the Lord or either you're not with God. Come on. So Satan is now working with his imps hand to hand to lure you from God's plan. Just like he lured Adam and Eve from God's plan. Uh, and he will lie to you as he did in the Garden of Eden. Yes, he is He is still a liar. He is still a murderer. He is still a cheater. He is still trying to drag the people of God. He is still trying to drag the people of God uh -huh, to follow after him, tempting them just like he tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden. There is nothing new under the sun. Just like that spirit of deception was able to uh, deceive that brother to sell his birthright, the promise that was given to him. Mm. And this spirit is working at an all-time high. And you're going to see a lot of that in this same given month. So we have to be sober like 1 Peter chapter 5, and I believe it's verse 8, that Peter say, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, <coughs> the devil, is lurking around for whoever he could drag down with him. This is what he want to do. He want to make you feel like, oh man, things are so bad. I've been waiting for a long time. When is God coming through for me? It just seemed like my change will never come. And so I got to put my hand in this thing. I got to work this out for myself. Well, beloved, I come to you as the oracles of God today to tell you, to stand in God because there are some promises that God wants to bring for you in this very season. Now, it's ironic that this month of September is the ninth month. Ninth is, nine is the number of finality, final. Either you're going to finally, you're going to give in to Satan finally and go to destruction or you're going to stand finally on the promises of God. Nine is also represent the, the time of birthing. And if 
you don't uh, give in to Satan. Everything that God was birthing through you. I believe that some of you have come to a Kairos moment where God is bringing you to a birthing room uh, where you're going to begin to see clearer than you ever seen before. You're going to be able to hear God like never, ever before. Those gifts and those talents that God has been grooming you with is getting ready to birth forth on the earth. And this is why the Lord gave me this word to tell you this is your moment this is your breakout moment there are many of you that God is speaking to to let you know that this is your breakout moment but the adversary Satan will try to lure you will try to deceive you to make you go another way don't do it don't do it don't do it what Jesus also said, my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. He say, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And so here is the thing. If it quack like a duck, it's a duck. Come on. If it have spots like a leopard, it is a leopard. I don't care what the lies of the enemy has been trying to tell you. You got to be able to recognize a thing for what it is. For what it is because God is getting ready to do something special in your life and, and and again this is the final moment for some because God has been bearing long with you long suffering with you and you still won't make up your mind to do right I come speaking the oracles of God and you still have not made up your mind to do right and so now you will begin to feel the wrath of God. You can choose to go God's way or you can choose to go your own way. Like Jesus told these Jews at that time that he was speaking to, why do you not understand my speech? Verse 43 in John 8, why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Why can't they? Why were they not able to hear God's word? Why? Because he said, ye are of your father, the devil, and the less of your father you will do. Simple as that. Simple as that. And so, beloved, I come to uh, not only give you the word of God, but I want to bind this spirit of deception all for you and out of your life because I want you to make it to the finish line. I want you to be all that you can be. I want you to have and do all that God will have you to have and do what all that God will have you to do. And God is raising up many of you in the marketplace. I hear the Holy Spirit speak to me now. God is raising up many of you in the marketplace to evangelize in the marketplace, to prophesy in the marketplace. Glory be to God. So you have to get in line and in tune and in sync with Jesus that you will not be deceived, that God will use you even in the marketplace, that the people in the marketplace that God has assigned you to, that you will be able to lure them from this spirit of deception. So now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of deception in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, you say whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Now, Lord, I loose your mind over every person that may be viewing this audio. I loose the mind of Christ Jesus over them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that they will not be deceived by the hand of the enemy, that they will not be deceived by the works of the enemy. They will not be deceived with manipulation and seduction and the spirit of trickery. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind you. I shut the portals of, of hell over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I step into my apostolic authority and I decree these things in the mighty name of Jesus as a kingdom ambassador. And I loose the word of God over every person that is viewing this video 
in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord God, I give you thanks and praise. I humble myself under your mighty hand, and I come to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for your people today. Lord God, especially these that is privileged to get this message. God, I pray that this word will not fall on a deaf ear or stony ground. I pray that the birds of the air do not choke it up. I pray that this word will marinate in their heart. I pray that they will obey you. I pray that they will understand you. I pray that they will hear your voice say, this is the way, walk in it. Father, I thank you for how you are moving in the life of your people. Father, I thank you for the blessings that you are bestowing upon us this day and even in this month. I thank you, Father, for entrusting me with this word to share with your people. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen and amen. Well, beloved, once again, this is Apostle Karen Proctor sharing the word of the Lord for you uh, for September 20, 2022. I think I probably said 2020 in the beginning, but I want to correct that. The word of the Lord for 2022 September, the spirit of deception. And so if you want to connect with me, for the School of the Prophets, uh, the School of the Holy Spirit, um, and any other school that I offer at Powerhouse Leadership Institute, go to my website at www.karenproctor.com and connect with me where it says connect with the apostle. Stroll down on the page uh, that tells you where um, I'm sorry, that gives the description of the schools and just connect with me that we can do life together. Bye for now. Until the next video, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. If you have not, see you in the next video again. Bye for now.